So you think you can demo with Mrs. Clifford at Jacob Hespeler Secondary School. Today my job is to explain some terminology, or show you actually, which is a lot more fun than just a talking head in a video. I'm going to show you some demonstrations involving two terms in the uh, thermochemistry unit, endothermic and exothermic. And then, not only am I going to show you those demonstrations, then I'm going to help show you how you can put it into thermochemical equations. So, let's get started. So for my first demonstration, I have a very exciting beaker of water here. It's, well, let me ask my audience what they think of the temperature of the water. It's room temperature. Not too cold, not too warm, just right. So now what I'm going to do is put some dry chemicals into the liquid. And I will always do it over a sink because sometimes I'm a messy chemist. Then what I'll do is go back to my audience once I dry the bottom here and then just let the reaction finish here. Now what does it feel like? It's gotten a lot colder. Freezing cold. So this is an example of the energy being absorbed by the surroundings, also known as an endothermic reaction. Safety first, of course. Notice the goggles. Notice the lab coat. Notice my hair tied back. The person who's going to help me today has her hair tied back, safety goggles on, and a coat. And, of course, we have closed toe shoes. That's the safety around this particular demonstration. So, what I'm going for here is Marge Simpson's hair from The Simpsons. So, here we go. It's almost at the height that I want it to be. And then, I'm just going to, safety first, of course, turn the gas off before we ever, ever even think about lighting a flame. So my gas isn't off yet, so my assistant's not working on that yet. Uh, so, but now I'm going to turn the gas off. My assistant's going to light her splint, which is attached to a ruler. And so, um, and she's going to get a good distance away, an arm length away. And my other assistant's going to turn the lights off. And here we go. reaction it's a release of energy in a thermochemical reaction then if we're going to put things into the reaction actually into the equation if your house was on fire you would exit the building or exit the house so when we're talking about putting energy into a thermochemical reaction we put it on the product side or the exit to the reaction if we're talking about an endothermic reaction, then we're going to put it on the reactant side. So these are my two demonstrations. One obviously a little more exciting than the other. We had our endothermic and our exothermic reaction.